Hey guys, so an interesting topic for today, like uh, how hard it actually is to be a good, great uh, Zabbix engineer or uh, simply a monitoring engineer. First of all, like all of this that I'm gonna say is uh, clearly just my opinion and I'm not saying that I'm 100% sure, so if you have a different um, different things to say about it feel free to just put it inside the comments and also like uh, this absolutely has nothing to do with uh, like Zabbix company I'm just talking about the guys working with a Zabbix daily or just doing some monitoring tasks tasks in their company um, first of all I think that it takes like really a lot and it's definitely not easy and uh, I'm, I was surprised, but quite often people ask to me like, hey, we just started to use Zabbix. What do I have to do to be like good at it, to absolutely succeed with all of the tasks that my management asks me to do, uh, configure all the monitoring because like I've just, uh, I'm reading Zabbix documentation and I'm watching your videos, but still I'm struggling to do some specific tasks. And uh, why it happens, I believe there is just one reason behind it. Because when, let's say, you need to monitor all of your infrastructure, we're talking about different kind of things, right? We're talking about operating systems, which uh, will be like a lot of distributions. We might be talking about Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat, CentOS, uh, Oracle Linux, uh, um, HP UX, uh, Raspberry Pis, whatever else. And uh, as long as we're not talking about linking some default templates, so if we need to monitor something uh, for which Zabbix is not created official template yet, it's going to be a struggle because even even if you like absolutely know what to do inside a Zabbix, like if you know how to create hosts, uh, how to create uh, items, triggers, actions, whatever else, you need to, <coughs> sorry, you need to have uh, understanding about uh, thing about a data source from which you will be capturing the data. So if you need to monitor HPUX server, you need to understand what kind of commands can you run inside that HPUX server to get the desired result. And same applies absolutely to all of the possible things. Like if you need to monitor a database, uh, okay, first of all, we need to make a decision that uh, do we want to monitor the database, uh, meaning the data inside the database, so by using ODBC connections, or are we talking about uh, monitoring the database performance with some um, different kind of, let's say, performance measuring tools? And here again, like, if uh, we're talking about a MySQL, those will be one set of utilities, commands, and uh, metrics, parameters to request and data to get. If we talk about a Postgres, it's going to be something absolutely else. If we talk about a Oracle, again, there will be basically nothing uh, similar with the previous database engines. So it means that the guy who will be creating all of this monitoring should have knowledge um, about these database engines that he wants to monitor. Of course, it's like uh, absolutely same for monitoring types, uh, not the monitoring which host we're monitoring, what device, what service, but the monitoring types. Like if we talk about SNMP monitoring, SNMP v1, 2, and 3, uh, then it, it doesn't really matter are we talking about uh, Cisco, HP, uh, whatever else, uh, vendors, if we're still doing it over SNMP, then nothing much gonna change. Yes, of course, we'll have to do uh, have to use different OIDs, uh, have to create different templates, uh, different low-level discovery rules, but the background, like how do we have to do that, will remain the same. So it's still going to be SNMP, we are familiar with OIDs, we know what kind of parameters we need to configure, and so on. And uh, nowadays, like when there are so many different ways how to install and configure and run things in your environment, uh, we could have a standalone MySQL installation on our physical box, we could have a MySQL installation as a virtual machine in our VMware environment, where again, it is the same MySQL, right? But uh, let's say the um, how the 
how the memory works, how the hard drive works will be absolutely different from the hard uh, physical machine. If we have a MySQL in a cloud, which uh, could be like Azure as example, it's again going to be absolutely different story because the parameters will be the same, but how the MySQL behaves in the Azure will be something absolutely different. How the how to measure the performance and uh, the lack of some parameters that we need again will going to be absolutely different in the in the azure than on the physical or a virtual machine so to sum it up like uh, it it really takes a lot and it takes a lot because again uh the guy who is configuring all of this stuff inside his abex who wants to monitor um different kind of services and 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 devices for which again there is no default template he will need to have a knowledge in all of those things and then usually comes like a, a struggle from the company perspective because if if you just started let's say a position as a monitoring engineer in your company and we might not even talk about a zabbix in uh in the specific but uh, let's say any other monitoring tool so your mo managers might be expecting that you configure all the monitoring and you do all the work in the result you are responsible about monitoring right but uh i think that uh, all of this work should be done uh really uh, collaborating together with all the other teams, uh, teams of which services and devices you need to configure monitoring for. So if you receive a task from the management to configure a monitoring to Oracle database, you really need to work close by with uh, Oracle administrators and they should be able to suggest you how to get this data outside of the database. What kind of queries can we run to get a performance data? What this performance data means? Because you as a monitoring engineer, you can suggest like, uh, I will figure out how we will get uh, this data to the Zabbix. I will create all the uh, items, triggers to collect it. I will configure the frequency. I will configure the actions that will notify. But please just tell me like, how can I get this data outside of the Oracle? And same applies to absolutely all of the sources. So let's say if your company um works in that way so you can ask some other guys who are responsible about those data sources then it's going to be a lot easier for you rather than if you are basically thrown alone uh, as a guy who is responsible for the monitoring and uh, you have to configure everything on your own nobody is going to help you then it will take like really a lot uh, having a knowledge about a Zabbix in this case will not um, will not be enough because you will have to google a lot how that specific thing that you need to monitor actually works what kind of commands can i run to get the data um, maybe i can use some external script maybe i need to create the script so again if i need to create a script i need to know how to write them or perhaps there is some small uh, CLI line, which might be just a CMD line in a Windows or a bash line uh, in, in, in a Linux that I could create a user parameter with my Zabbix agent to pull this data. So you need to know like really, really a lot um, about all of the stuff that you're going to monitor. And that's why I think that it takes like really a lot um, to be a good monitoring engineer. So things like how you can uh, improve of course uh, if we talk in particular about his abix then i will definitely say the abix training so all the user specialist professional and and expert courses which is a huge value and uh, knowledge and giving you the instruments that will later help you to configure all of this stuff uh, there's a lot in the documentation uh, which is absolutely like free and available for everybody you don't have to uh, i don't know do some registrations or whatever else just uh, go find on the feature that you would like to have help and read everything through most likely you will get your answers I'm also uh, want to say about his Abix books, uh, which is uh, not uh, not just one book. There's a lot of books released by the um, long year Zabbix users, and there's definitely is uh, good value and some key principles, best practices that she, which if you will follow, will definitely make your um, monitoring life easier. And I will also throw the links in the description where you can. Uh, get these books from Amazon. Um, there are also like uh, paperback and Kindle versions available, right? So 
yeah, like there, there's no, um, there's no rule or, or a short list of things that you need to do to become like uh, good at all this stuff because it really depends from what exact tasks do you have. But uh, what is most important, um, like think outside of the monitoring platform that you're using because you will really have to be that uh, super smart guy who is experienced in all sort of the fields like uh, operating systems, uh, network devices, databases, load balancers, high availability clusters, Docker containers, Kubernetes if you need to monitor it and all of that different stuff. So you need to learn not only about a monitoring platform that you're using, but about all of the sources uh, from which you want to get the data. Most important, you need to find out like what do you have to do to get this data inside, let's say at least in the CLI. And when you will figure that out, it will be like extremely easy for you to understand how to get this data inside uh, Zabbix in this case or any other monitoring platform. Right, so yeah, that's that. That's about it. Um, if you still have some sort of the questions about this topic or some some different feedback about it, just uh, post your um, yeah feedback and questions in the comments. I'll try to answer them as usual. Uh, other than that, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. And we'll definitely uh, see you in 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 the next week or after a couple of days, depends when this video will actually go out. Um, all right, so thank you guys and see you later. Goodbye.